Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of iPhone Blog where we help quality people to pick up quality product. Guys, a very important announcement to one and all and then I'll talk about the agenda. Uh, first of all, I am going to change my channel's name. So now from today onwards, uh, you may find on the YouTube as iPhone Bloke Amit Devedi, the tech tuber. So it's the same channel, but then again, I really had to decide the category of my channel and that's why tech tuber, the name uh, rest is same. So I have a very important announcement to make and this is in context to first ever video on XU300, the negatives of India's safest car. Let's get started. Right, so this is my first video ever on XCV300 uh, on the not so called the right side of uh, XUV. Primarily all my videos have been talking about a lot of advantages of XCV but this time for the very first time I have my an analysis done and I thought of sharing some of the negative points of XCV300 which is also known as India's most powerful and safest car as of now in 2020. Right, the first big drawback of XUV300 is the boot space. The boot space of XUV300, whether you buy petrol or diesel, is absolutely not good. 257 some chain liters is not a sort sh of a boot space you would like to have on your desired SUV because when you buy an SUV, you tend to carry luggage and utility all together. So that's the first drawback. Number two. The performance of headlights for W4 and W6 variant. So let's say if you're buying uh, first two variants W4 and W6, you may not be able to have the great amount of visibility as per company fitted uh, halogens. Uh, these are poor halogens, uh, especially in fog, especially in rain, especially on a dark night where there's a lot of traffic. So you may want to upgrade your company fitted uh, XUV for W4 and W6 because that can give you a little trouble while driving uh, on a higher speed, especially on the highways where there are a lot of trucks and vehicles moving on. That's number two. Third point is, is in context to accessories and it is in context to the overall features you get within W4 and W6. So primarily for W4 I'm here talking about, at least W4 should have got a decent basic uh, music system which they have only given in W4 diesel and not in petrol. I think that's a biggest drawback of uh, XUV 300 because they are not even have given speakers in W4 petrol basic variant which is a big big minus point keeping in check the price of XUV 300 basic model is already the costliest one in the market so that's a drawback. Ground clearance, uh, 180, I don't think so, it's a challenge. Uh, let's say in normal or Indian road condition, but then if you have bought an SUV some or the other day, you will go ahead and buy, uh, let's say have a drive in rural or on the mountains. Well, the vehicle is fantastic. You would not feel underpowered, would not feel less secure. It's the best in class. But when it comes to you know, big potholes, and if you go to really rural places, 180 could have been better. At least 190 or 200 would have been ideal for a, a car of this fantastic quality. So 180 is a little downward. Last point, the costly affair. Uh, if you see all the uh, SUVs uh, category in sub four meter, XUV 300 happens to be a bit on the price it, uh, side. So that's also one of the drawbacks if I have to calculate in order to uh, point out some of the negatives of XUV300 in 2020. Barring all these points which are indeed manageable and adjustable, trust me, it's a beautiful car. It's a car of the year in terms of power performance and you should close your eyes, go and buy it because nothing gets better than that in 2020 in SUV compact, you know, with this brand of Mahindra. It's absolutely perfect. Well, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned and take care.